last last April. You know, Kamati ya bunge ya fedha ilialika makamishna wa mamlaka ya KRA ili kutathmini jinsi ya kuboresha huduma kwa wasafiri wanaopitia vituo vya forodha haswa katika uwanja wa ndege wa Jomo Kenyatta yanayoendelea hapo yanaathiri taswira ya taifa katika utalii na uwekezaji. We know without KRA we will not have a system that bit we understand but we are saying it must be done that doesn't remove the civil liberty of the individuals a manner that does not prejudice the privacy of the individuals a manner that will also create the human aspects kiare imetakiwa ibadilike ili kuzuia kupoteza ushuru zaidi kutokana na jinsi unavyokusanywa as we address all these areas we are working at the process the systems the infrastructure and then the pr katika kikao hiki imebainika kuwa sheria za forodha za Afrika Mashariki zina mapengo ambayo yanahitaji kuzibwa. Ni kwa misingi hii ndipo mwenyekiti wa kamati mbunge wa Molo Kuria Kemani ameeleza nia ya kuzingatia ombi la mamlaka ya KRA ya kuongeza kiwango cha thamani ya mali ambayo wasafiri wanaruhusiwa kuingia nayo Kenya chini ya sheria za forodha za Afrika Mashariki bila kutozwa ushuru. Thamani inayoruhusiwa kisheria haipaswi kuwa zaidi ya dola 500 za Marekani. Going to 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 give an uh, to file a motion in parliament and they are going to institute an amendment to to ECMA you know to revise the limit of $500 and at least also guides on which items again are not subject to customs. For example if if I just bring homes things for for own use and they ideally shouldn't be subject to to, to those uh, customs david kagina k24 tv